Good morning. So today is my infusion day, which means that I spend most of the morning at the hospital just sitting around and reading. So I thought I would do a reading diary since I should get a lot of reading done today. Although, usually in the afternoon after my infusion, I like to just have a restful, more reading day. But uh, this particular day, I have a lot of housework to catch up on and just like getting my life sorted out. So I'm not sure if I'll have that much reading time. However, I am hoping to read City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab today. I think this is a middle grade book, so I'm hoping it'll be a pretty quick read and I'll be able to get through it all today. I did start reading it last night, but I only got about a chapter in, so I can't really say whether I'm enjoying it so far. Um, the setup so far is just that we have this main character, oops, I forgot to pay attention to her name. This girl called Cass, and she can see the dead. So in the first chapter, um, it set her up as having this best friend who is a ghost, which is pretty cool. So I guess I will see how much I get through this morning, and then I will check in and let you know how I'm enjoying it. Hey, so I am in a place called Library Point. It's really quite beautiful. I'll put some proper footage in. You'll notice me looking over there. So Library Point is kind of uh, on the far side of this dog and cycle park, which is empty at the moment because it's a weekday, so nobody's here. This is kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's a path over there, which is the only way to get over here. So if anyone comes over, I'll see them coming. And yet, and yet still, still I feel awkward about filming in public. It's not even public. Like, this is the most private public spot you can get. Anyway, I finished my infusion and then I thought I would come for a walk just to get some fresh air and get my steps up because my work is doing a step timber competition. So I want to get as many steps as possible so that I can uh, maybe not win because there's some contenders, but... I want to be up there. Also, this park is just lovely, so it's nice to come for a walk. So, as far as City of Ghosts goes, I do have it in my bag. I might sit down and read a couple more chapters before I head home. I'm actually about halfway through, which is pretty good. I was able to get through it really quickly. I don't find it, like, it's quite a slow-paced book. Um, there's quite a lot of character building and world building, but it's not difficult to get through despite all that. I think it's mainly just Victoria Schwab has like a wonderful writing style, like great descriptive writing, and also just a lot of the ideas about ghosts and stuff are quite interesting. What I did realize though while I was reading this is that this is a series. I don't know why I didn't pick up on that before. I think I've actually heard people mention that this is the first book in a series, and I'm not supposed to be starting new series this year, but I think I'm going to make an exception because it's Victoria Schwab and also this is the first book so I'll be caught up as soon as I read it. So that, that's acceptable. But the thing that made me kind of realize that it was a series is that the setup is that Cassidy, the main character, her parents uh, write these kind of like ghost investigation books and then they've just been kind of signed up to do a TV series and there was a list of the different locations they're going to go and film at. So I guess the first location is Edinburgh, which is the city of ghosts that we are investigating. And then I guess the future locations will be different books in the series. So uh, it's interesting. I'm definitely interested to have a full series of these, although it depends what happens in the second half of the book. So we have just been introduced to this character called Lara Jane, and she's raised quite a few interesting questions, so I'm interested to see what happens with her character. Anyway, that's quite enough filming in public. Um, I am going to walk back to my car, maybe the long way, and then um, I need to go do some shopping and stuff. So I will check in with you guys a bit later. Okay, so it is a couple of days later. Uh, what ended up happening is that I went shopping and then when I got home I decided I was going to have a nap. And after I had a nap, I really couldn't be bothered doing anything. So I just sat there and finished City of Ghosts in one sitting. So the second half in one sitting. The first half I also read most of except the first chapter in one sitting so i guess i shouldn't really be surprised that it was a fast read um since it is middle grade and i am decidedly older than middle grade so having read this so quickly means that this will be quite a short little reading diary a lot shorter than i was planning for it to be 
But regardless, I thought I would just add some kind of closing thoughts about this book to this video. So as well as being a really fast read, I did really enjoy this. I like the world. I like the setup. I thought the friendship between our main character Cassidy and her ghost friend Jacob was really fun and enjoyable to read about. And I do think people who come from Edinburgh will probably get like a, a different experience of this book or people who've been to Edinburgh, which I haven't. But obviously it's all set in Edinburgh and there's quite a lot of references to different places there. Um, so I'd be really interested to see what people who've been to Edinburgh or who live in Edinburgh think about this story. So the one criticism I do have is that I was expecting there to be a little bit more of a reveal or like something a little bit bigger near the end of the story. Also there are quite a lot of Harry Potter references which I found a bit strange because I do think that the audience that this is targeted towards are kind of the post Harry Potter generation so I'm not sure that they're going to be as into the Harry Potter references as maybe older people would be. But at the same time, like the plot is probably a bit simple for most older people, so it's a little bit weird. There was actually at one point a part where I thought it was all going to make sense, so something happened that made me think there was going to end up being a connection between Cassidy and kind of the bad guy, the monster of this story. And I thought that would be quite similar to the connection between Harry Potter and Voldemort. And so then I was like, oh cool, then the Harry Potter references all make sense because we're kind of mirroring the same story idea. And so then the Harry Potter references are almost like a foreshadowing of that. But then that connection never happened and I just was making it up which was a shame because as I've said I kind of wanted this to like lead into a bigger story although there is hints of a kind of like a longer running plot but it all hinges on the idea that her ghost friend Jacob maybe isn't as trust trustworthy and friendly as he seems and like their friendship is the best part of this book so I'm not sure that I like where that's going. I'm also a bit disappointed about the fact that in future books we'll lose some of the side characters. So there was a character introduced called Lara Jane who... Oh, that's a spoiler! So I'm disappointed that she won't be in future books, or at least I'm not really sure how it would be written so she could be, because I believe that how it's set up is Cassidy's parents, I already talked about this, but Cassidy's parents uh, have this TV show and so every book is going to be in a different location. So at the end of this book they've wrapped up filming in Edinburgh, so it can't be set in Edinburgh anymore, which means that those characters are going to be left behind, which I'm a bit sad about. Regardless of those criticisms, I did still find this really enjoyable. And I definitely will be picking up the future books because I do want to see what Victoria Schwab will do with this world. I think there's a lot of potential and it looks like she has some ideas. And this was really just like an introduction kind of book. So yeah, I'm glad I read it. There's not much more to say about it than that. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Uh, and I don't know when I'm going to post it, but if you're watching it, you probably know the answers to that question, so I don't need to say this at all. Anyway, so if you have read City of Ghosts, then I'd love to talk to you about what you thought about it down in the comments, so let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.